babes! Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! I'm going to be getting ready for a party, so hopefully you guys want to get ready with me. Um, also in the description down below, I'll be announcing the winners from the Holiday Nail Art Contest. If you want more nail art contests, make sure you thumbs up this video to let me know. And if you won, make sure to send me an email at beautydollmanny at gmail.com. Now let's get ready! Since Cosmopolitan and CoverGirl will be ringing in the new year, I wanted to create a glam pink accent manicure. To start off this mani, paint your nails any color you would like. I'm using a pink base that's called Constant Candy and it's a beautiful bubblegum pink color. To create the confetti, I'm using two colors, gold and pink. Taking the color Bombshell and a small dotting tool, Create small pieces of confetti going different directions on each nail. Fill in the remaining space with the gold confetti. I'm using a gold polish called Golden Opportunity. For my accent nail, I wanted to do something a bit bold, so I decided to paint my accent fingers different colors using the polishes that I created using the confetti. Here's what my New Year's Eve confetti nails look like when they're finished. Let's move on to my face makeup and allow my nails to harden. To save time, I've already primed, foundationed, is that a word? <laughs> and contoured my face. I'm going to start out by priming my eyes with Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm going to be wearing a lot of eye makeup because it's New Year's, duh. To get the edge nice and sharp, I will be applying some tape to the outer corners of my eyes. I wanted to create a look that everybody could create, recreate, so I felt like a lot of us have the naked palettes. So taking the color Foxy, I'm going to be applying it underneath my brow as a highlight. Taking Booty Call, I'll be highlighting the inner corner of my eye. To create the base for the gold eyes, I'm going to be taking the color Half Baked and applying it to the lids and a little bit into the crease. With any kind of like winged or smoky look, I like to start off kind of light with the colors and go dark. This way I can create dimension and also make adjustments as I go. Heading over to the Naked palette, I'm going to be applying Naked to the crease section and bringing it a little bit under the brow. Now taking a darker color, Buck, I'm going to be taking it and applying it to the crease portion of my eyes and a little bit down the side of the tape just to make sure there's a nice wing. I picked up this large glitter from my local craft store, Michael's. To apply the glitter, I'm taking Sally Girl's Gel Adhesive for glitter and applying a small amount on the back of my hand. I recommend using a synthetic brush when applying the gel and glitter mixture to the lid. To really make this look pop, I blended the large glitter with a pearls, pearlized, pearlized, with a pearlized pigment gold clusters by MAC in Scatteray and applied it all over the lid. Now I'm gonna remove the tape. Look at that gorgeous sharp line. I'm so in love. For the lower lash line, I'm applying YDK with onto a small brush and applying it to the outer third and pulling the color down and out to make the eyes appear larger. To really make my eyes pop, I'm going to tight line my eyes using Ulta's Eye Crown in black tight. And now I'm gonna use some liquid liner in black and I'm going to create a winged cat eye look. Because it is New Year's, I like to really make sure my eyes pop by adding lashes. These are by NYX. While my lashes dry, I wanna go ahead and add, lengthen my lower lashes and apply my favorite black mascara. Finish off the look with a red lip. For my hair, I wanted to create a lot of volume and a ton of glam. So I started by sectioning off my hair and teasing each section at the base with a paddle brush. Now that I'm done with the sides and the back, I like to do the center and the, and the front by pulling all the hair to the front and teasing in small sections from the back to the front. 
Now I'm gonna be running a brush through my hair to smooth it out. Make sure not to push down too hard because, because you just want to smooth out the hair and not make it look frizzy. I'm going to pull my bangs forward and position my new favorite headband. You know how some headbands are too tight and eventually you take off because it gives you a headache and then the rest of the night is ruined? Well, this headband is has an adjustable strap, so it's super comfortable. Plus, I'm obsessed with the white and black crystals. Oh my god, so freaking glam. Now let's get dressed. To start off my New Year's Eve outfit, I grabbed this beautiful bandage dress from BB. This dress is no joke. It hugs me in all the right places, and I'm almost 100% I'm going to be turning heads all night long. Huh. <laughs> I picked up this beautiful necklace at TJ Maxx. For the shoes, I grabbed these gorgeous nude strappy heels from BB. They're super comfortable and I can't wait to dance the night away in these. If you're inspired, make sure to share your New Year's Eve nails, outfit, and hair with me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Make sure to tag me at Lance and G. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this one, it's the first one I have ever done like this, so make sure to let me know by leaving this video a thumbs up. And I am wishing each of you the happiest of New Year's, and I love you all. See you soon. Bye!